Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Sparkly Elephant uh, Sewing Tips and Tricks. So I've had lots of requests for just some different information that normally I would cover in an intro class, but since we can't do intro classes right now, I'm just going to do some little tidbits here and there about uh, stuff about your machine, important information. So the first thing um, that I would like to address is cleaning the lint out of your bobbin case. This is really, really important. Um, especially for some of the people who have pulled a sewing machine out, they haven't sewed for a long time, maybe they're making masks um, and sewing every day. So it's really important that you clean the lint out of your bobbin case. Um, really, you should maybe go after every one or two bobbin changes, um, but uh, at least once a day, especially if you're sewing for a long time. So, um, Everybody should have a bobbin case. Um, this is a drop-in bobbin. Normally you can pull out the little cover and you can pull out your bobbin, okay? Oftentimes though, that is not quite enough and you'll have to pull the plate off, okay? So my machine, you can open this up and this just snaps out like that. Um, some machines don't, some you may have to unscrew it. Just check your machine. Um, and then you're going to want to pull out your actual bobbin case and you can see on here, maybe, um, sorry for the rudimentary video, but there's a little bit of lint in there, but really the place where it collects is inside the holder and you want to take a little brush. Look at all that. Um, you want to take like a little brush or a pipe cleaner or something like that to go and sort of clean out some of the areas of your um, inside of your machine. The most important thing to know is to do not blow compressed air into any of these parts. What happens is it just basically blows particulates into places in the machine and you don't want that. Um, there are vacuum attachments. We sell them at the shop that go on to any vacuum hose where you, and they're little teeny tiny pieces that that are designed to kind of get into small areas. And so that's a really good way to do it also. Um, but just a simple pipe cleaner or a little brush. Most machines come with a little brush like this. Um, and so you can just kind of go and just try to gently get out some of the fuzz. If your machine is making weird noises or, you know, clicking or something, um, I would recommend like re-threading it first. And then if that doesn't work, you know, oftentimes a good re-thread just kind of helps it, things along. But if not, go in there and try to clean out some of the lint because it really can cause problems. Um, and then just put this back, either snip it back on or screw it back on, whether um, you have to, however your machine works. And then you're gonna put your bobbin back in, making sure that as you lay it in, the string is coming off the left side and then put it back and it should um, help. So lint in there, um, especially when you're sewing with cotton thread, it just it just gets linty. That's just the nature of it. So just make sure that you are cleaning that out regularly. And I think that that will be really helpful um, for sewing and just maintaining your machine. I know that a lot of um, maintenance shops for sewing machines are closed right now. So doing these little things regularly can really help um, prevent other problems. So clean out your lint and please do not blow compressed air into any parts of your machine um, because it really can cause some worse damage that you wouldn't be able to fix. Um, so please comment below on what you would like to see uh, me talk about next or any other questions that you have and I will definitely help address it. And so um, happy sewing today, happy lint cleaning, and I will talk to everybody soon. Bye-bye.